Hi, my name is Jamie McDonough. Plan to keep you occupied through the current situation by staying active. Here are a few of my favourite exercises that can be done easily from the comfort of your own home, helping you to stay active and feel great. My home workout involves completing four exercises back to back. This is going to be a time challenge, so you can use a mobile phone, a stopwatch or anything else you have in the house to time yourself. This is a descending repetition challenge, which means you're going to perform all four exercises for 10 repetitions each, then go back to the start, nine repetitions each, eight repetitions and down to the last exercise, which will be one repetition of each exercise. So time yourself, work as hard as you can with good technique and most of all, enjoy it. Let's get started. Here are your exercises. Okay, first exercise is going to be drop squats. So externally rotate the feet, push the feet outwards at 10 to 2 on the clock. Initiate your movement by pushing the hips back first for a body weight squat. From the front it looks like that and from the side here. Okay, the trick is though, you're going to take a wide squat, then you're going to tap the feet together and then wide again. So 10 repetitions for our first exercise. Okay, try to keep the chest lifted the whole time. Okay, all the weight's going to be distributed through the heels. Okay, you should feel the quads, front of the thighs and the back side getting worked here. Perfect. Okay, exercise number two is the A-frame. So a four point position, hands down in press up position, holding a full plank, tummy in tight, take the right side to the left and tap, extending the arm all the way back. If you can, to make it harder, bring the foot off the floor. If you struggle with balance, just tap the foot on the floor. This is called the A-frame, so you've got lumbar rotation, you should feel this through the waist. Again, this will be one of the exercises you don't want to rush too much, just for balance, but work as hard as you can. Give it a go. Exercise number three, lunge or a lunge jump. The first option's a bit easier, it's a little bit friendlier on the knees also. So hands on the waist, chest up, take one step out, okay, try and get the back knee sunk towards the floor, all the way down. Okay, side on. Exactly the same, trailing leg, trailing knee towards the floor. That's your easier option. If you want to get the heart rate up higher, work a bit harder, we'll make this a plyometric exercise, which is a lunge jump. So the chest will be up, opposite arm to opposite leg movement, driving the elbow all the way back. And again, you start this on 10 repetitions each side. Second time you do the circuit, nine, all the way down to one repetition. Lovely. Okay, exercise number four, press up. So easier option would be taking a knee down position. Chest up, fold at the elbows, chest down towards the floor. I want to teach you to suck eggs, make the exercise harder. On the toes, full extension, bum squeezed, tummy in tight. Again, fold at the elbows, let's get the chest down towards the floor. You maintain good form the whole time. And again, doing 10 repetitions, second set nine, all the way down to one repetition. You should feel it in your chest, your triceps, the front of the shoulders. Good luck guys. Hope you've enjoyed today's workout. If you really want to push yourself, start at number one again and work your way all the way back up to number 10. So from 10 to one and then one back up to number 10. I would recommend trying this workout twice per week, as long as you're tight timing yourself. If you're getting faster doing this workout, it means you're getting fitter and stronger. Stay safe guys. Hopefully see you in the gym soon. Take care and God bless.